Hi, Ryan O'Grady here. Let's get organized for the workforce module. In 2010, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Institute for Museums and Library Services did a study that found that 30 million people received job-seeking help at the library during the previous 12 months. While the numbers have probably fluctuated since then due to improvements and then further drops in the economy more recently, helping job seekers is still one of the library's main missions. And during a time when many people have access to the internet only through their phones, library computer resources are critical in helping job seekers complete applications and fill out forms. Our learning objectives in this module are to explain at least one job tip that could help customers in their job seeking, explain how libraries can help job seekers, compare the Maryland Workforce Exchange with another site from the Job Seekers Toolkit, list one print resource and one community resource that will help customers in their job seeking, explain how to identify job scams, explain the pros and cons of various resume builders and templates, and explain the pros and cons of ONET and the Occupational Outlook Handbook. There are six lessons and five case studies and one share the knowledge forum in this module. In lesson one, we will learn about what libraries are doing to help job seekers and learn about some job seeking best practices. We will also take a look at the Enoch Pratt Free Library's Pathfinder Job Seekers Toolkit. Then we'll use what we've learned to help Mr. Cranshaw in the case study. This will take approximately 50 minutes. Lesson two takes a look at the Maryland Workforce Exchange website and one other site of your choice from the Find a Job Opening Online section of the Job Seekers Toolkit. Based on what you find out, you will help Mrs. Kansme in the case study. This lesson will take about 45 minutes. In lesson three, we'll compare Microsoft Word's resume template with either Anne Arundel Community College's Career Builder or MWE's Resume Builder. Then see if you can help Mr. McDonald in the case study. This lesson will take about 60 minutes. Lesson four will give you some basic guidelines on how to detect scams. Then you will go to your local Craigslist and see if any of the postings are concerning to you. This lesson will take about 35 minutes. Lesson five has you brainstorming with colleagues about workforce and career resources in your library and in your local community. Then you will share your favorites with other participants in the forum. This lesson will take about 35 minutes. Finally, in lesson six, you will be evaluating the websites ONET and the Occupational Outlook Handbook and helping Carlos with his school assignment in the case study. This lesson will take about 30 minutes. Here are some tips. Don't overthink the assignments. You do not have to read every word on every web page we've assigned. There's a lot of information on the Maryland Workforce Exchange and other job seeking sites. Looking specifically for those things that would appeal to your customers right away, what, what else would you point out to them? Limit your posts to 250 words or less. Focus on your customer interaction. How would you put them at ease? What questions would you ask? What information would you share? And be sure to reply to another person's post. Ask questions. Your supervisor, system mentors, and LATI staff are here to help you. And finally, have fun. Have fun finding new ways to help your customers.